right, guys, per the instructions here, we're at 180. So we have to remove from the heat immediately. By the way, the instructions are from Anilda Breger. I'm hoping I say that right, oh Lord. Add the lemon juice and stir it in. Stir a couple times like that. Let it go, lemon juice. Right, and it's stirred in there. Okay, and now we have add the vinegar, stir briefly until combined and allow it to sit for 30 minutes. Okay. We are stirring it in. Oh, Lord, it's already getting chunky. Oh. That is awesome. I guess. I don't... <laughs> it looks awesome, but I don't really know if that's what it's supposed to do. Okay. All right, guys. We'll be back in 30 minutes. All right, guys. Our timer went off. Now, it says we are going to ladle this out of here into our cheesecloth here. Oh, that's... Okay, that's chunky. Oh, it's so cute! I'm not gonna hear it burning. Why can't I just dump this off in there? If somebody knows, comment down below. Why well, I have to use a ladle and I can't just dump it in there. This is my first time making it, so I really don't know. It's an honest question. Or if I'm doing something that it does not look right to you, please, please say something. Because I don't know. I am just going off of instructions. You give me a paper, I can read the instructions. All right, guys, I'm going to try to scrape the rest of this out of there. I'll be right back, okay? All right, guys, we got it all in here. Now, our instructions here. We're gonna add the salt and stir lightly. And we're gonna gather the ends of the cheesecloth and tie them with the kitchen string and then tie it to your faucet. And then we're gonna let it hang for an hour. We will come back in an hour, guys. All right, guys, time to unroll it. Kind of sticks to this cheesecloth a little bit, or it feels like it does. Oh goodness! Oh wow! <laughs> oh my! If anybody has ever made this before, tell me if this is normal. Just made like little curds. I don't know why I was expecting like a, like it was all pounded together. Okay. Okay. All right. 
I'm gonna get it out of this and into my bowl and then we're gonna season the top of it. All right, guys, we got it all out and it's all inside our bowl now. We are gonna try the garlic and thyme mixture and these are both fresh, so. And grown locally right here in my yard. Okay. And I don't know how much to put on here, but I do know that with fresh herbs like that, you do not want to use very much. So, I will show you the finished product when we're all done. All right, guys, what do you think? That is my garlic and thyme cheese. Goat cheese, sorry. Looks pretty good. <laughs>